What do you get when you mix a love of zombies with a love of writing? You get 25 zombie book titles and story ideas for writers. In this video, we will give you some great ideas for your next zombie novel. Or maybe you fancy entering a short story competition and need a creative jolt. I've got you covered. Whether you are just starting out as a writer or looking to add a new spin to your latest work, these ideas will help get you started. So, put on your thinking cap, and let's get started. By the way, would you believe me if I told you that this AI novel writing software called Jasper AI helped me develop these titles and novel ideas? Crazy, right? I've linked to it in the description. You can try it out with 10,000 free words. Zombie Apocalypse Survival Guide how to survive. This book is your complete guide to dealing with a zombie apocalypse. Here you'll find loads of ideas on survival, from the most basic skills to secret weapons. This indispensable resource is as bursting with practical advice as it is cram-jammed packed full of awesome illustrations. For any war against the undead, this is your number one guide. Surviving the Zombie Kingdom. The Zombie Kingdom series is perfect for readers who love a good mix of action adventure, and comedy. In these books, you'll follow the story of Alice as she tries to survive in a world that has been overrun by zombies. With plenty of twists and turns, this series is perfect for anyone who loves a good zombie story. The Day of the Walking Dead. This book is a gripping tale of a group of survivors in a world overrun by zombies. They must band together to find food and supplies, while fighting off the hordes of the undead. The entire story happens in a day but covers different people in different parts of the country. 100 Ways to Kill a Zombie When the zombie apocalypse hits, one man will be prepared. He's read every book, seen every movie, and played every video game about zombies. He knows how to kill them, how to avoid them, and how to survive. But there's one problem, he's bored of all of it. The Zombie Encyclopedia The Zombie Encyclopedia is a comedic thriller novel about an unassuming college professor who after being bitten by his neighbor's zombie cat must figure out how to survive in the zombie-infested world he now lives in. How to train your zombie. In this novel, you'll follow the story of Mark as he tries to train his zombie wife to be a normal human again. He'll have to deal with her rotting flesh, the constant hunger for brains, and uncontrollable anger. But even if he can't turn her back into the woman he loves, maybe he can at least make her into a tolerable roommate. The Zombie Games, a novel. In the world of the zombie games, zombies are real and they're dangerous. But that hasn't stopped a group of teenagers from signing up for the ultimate reality TV show, a battle to the death against the undead. With millions of dollars on the line, these teens will have to use all their cunning, strength, and luck to survive. The day the earth died, it started out like any other day. The sun rose in the east, casting a warm glow over the earth. The birds began to sing, and the flowers began to bloom. But then, something went wrong. The sun disappeared behind a thick curtain of clouds, and the birds fell silent. The flowers withered and died, leaving only withered husks behind. A cold wind began to blow, and darkness fell over the land. The earth was dying, and no one knew why. For days, the world was shrouded in darkness and cold. Then, on the fifth day, the sun rose again, and the world returned to normal. But something had changed. The birds no longer sang, and the flowers no longer bloomed. Before Exodus, a series of biblical events began to unfold. Zombies began to appear. At first, they were thought to be the walking dead, returned to life by dark magic. But it soon became clear that they were something else entirely. They were savage, mindless creatures, driven by a hunger for human flesh. The people of Israel were terrified of them, and with good reason. These zombies were a force to be reckoned with, and they seemed to be spreading everywhere. The situation was dire, and it looked like the end was near. But then, something miraculous happened. The Zombie War Chronicles The world has been overrun by zombies. But one man, a former soldier, has found a way to survive. He's holed up in an abandoned building, surrounded by supplies and weapons. But when he meets a group of survivors, he'll have to decide whether to help them or continue on alone. The soldier knows that the chances of survival are greater if he remains alone. But he also knows that the only way to truly survive is to find others and band together. The question is, which is more important, his survival or the survival of the human race? Year one, a zombie tale. Thomas awoke to the sound of something scratching at his door. Groggily he got up, wondering who could be making such a racket at this hour. As he approached the door, the scratching became more insistent and he could hear a faint moan coming from the other side. Heart pounding, he slowly reached for the handle, his hand shaking slightly. He took a deep breath and pulled the door open. Standing before him was a zombie, its skin pale and its eyes sunken in its skull. It reached out for him with rotting hands, moaning hungrily. Without thinking, Thomas, Dead City Blues. Dead City Blues is a creative spin on the traditional zombie apocalypse story, set in a world where the undead have taken over. The story follows a group of survivors as they struggle to hold on to their humanity. What sets Dead City Blues apart from other zombie stories is its focus on the power of music. In a world where the dead roam the earth, 
the survivors find solace in song. Music helps them to remember who they are and what they're fighting for. It's an emotional and powerful story that will stay with you long after the last page is turned. I Thought I Killed You, the story of a teenager, Tanisha, who has a recurring vivid nightmare. In her dreams, she is being chased by zombies. Her dreams used to end at the same part every night, until one day. Each night she spends longer and longer in the dream state until, eventually, she's unable to wake up out of it. She knows she is still dreaming but until she figures out how to wake up, she is forced to keep running, fighting, and even scavenging for food. Each day the dream feels even more realistic as her senses awaken. But she doesn't. Brian did. Brian's loss almost tore his family apart. His mother and father were on the brink of a divorce, and his sister had run away from home. The only thing that was keeping them together was Brian. But then, one fateful night, he was killed in a car accident. Or so they thought. A few days after the funeral, Brian's mother went into his room to get some of his things, and she found him there, alive ish. Quarantine, the loners. The virus was spreading like wildfire. It was only a matter of time before it reached our shores. The government had issued a red alert that the infected would turn into zombies, wreaking havoc on the living. In a last-ditch effort to save the human race, scientists developed a vaccine. Everybody got the jab. Well, almost everybody. Zombies, a novel. A single bee flew into the air, its wings a blur as it zoomed around the garden. It was soon joined by others, and soon the air was filled with the sound of their buzzing. The bees seemed to be in a frenzy, darting about wildly, but something was not right. The bees were not gathering nectar or pollen. They were not going about their usual business. Instead, they were attacking anything that moved. I hope you enjoyed those as much as I enjoyed writing them and imagining the scenarios. Now I'm a bit upset that some of these aren't already books or movies I could tuck into. What about you? What's your favorite zombie story? Let me know in the comments below. And, as always, keep writing.